Alrighty boys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how I got to level 350 in one day. If you guys want to support your boy, make sure you guys go ahead and press that fat subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video. It really just helped out a lot. Thank you. Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So guys, as you can tell by the title, pretty much I'm going over how I did get to level 350, as you guys can see by my level up here, in pretty much a day. So I actually kind of watched the show. I actually started watching the show when I started playing this game, which was literally like yesterday, and I'm already at 350. Now, I know you're probably going to say, okay, well, you probably spent just a bunch of money, and listen, I actually didn't. I'm going to explain to you how I got here. Now, I will say, there's one thing I did spend some money on, and it's not actually crazy expensive. Now, before you click off this video, let me explain. So, there are uh, XP multipliers you can use. If you want to go ahead and spend 25 Robux for 15 minutes, I did that, get some quick grinds, and super helpful. But, if you don't want to do that, don't sweat it. When I said you could get to level 350 in one day, now listen, I grinded a lot to get there. You guys can get there, but I'm going to show you a pretty efficient way to get there fast. You don't have to get as fast that I did, but if you want to go ahead, I just listen to what I'm going to say. So I found that the better power you have, the faster you're going to get through your missions and the more powerful you're going to get over time. And there's all different types of quirks, but really when you start out, just try to get for some common or uncommon quirks. It really doesn't matter. You might get some legendaries. All quirks really in this game are good just because some are worse than others. Doesn't mean they're bad. Like they're all good. I started out with them. Then I eventually got one for all, which is kind of like one of the best in the game. But I kind of want to get out of the way if you guys are wondering like, if there's a better power for grinding. Now, again, guys, I'm not a pro with this game. So if you think I'm saying anything you don't like, you just tell me down below in the comments. But I'm doing my best to say what I've done from playing this game so far and how I've gotten to pretty much everything maxed out. So really, you just want to run through your missions, guys. If you want to get through as fast as possible, just run through them. Make sure your XP is going up, then go to your next mission. So then you'll go to, like, Citizen, or then you'll go to your other villain dude who'll be, like, over here. The thug dude, whatever, you know, villain quest, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But you just keep running through these things and going through them pretty fast. I mean, you'll see. They'll go through them pretty fast. Like, I literally beat this game in, like, you know, it's, like, one night to beat this. Like, there's a lot of content, but if you, can, if you know how to get through it efficiently, it's game gets so much fun because you can start unlocking more quirks to get more money you guys can see i'm almost at like I'm almost at a million to get like that crazy sword another tip i have is don't waste your money so like for example guys you don't need to buy weapons when you start out i thought that that was kind of a waste i need i haven't even bought a weapon yet because i feel like weapons are kind of useless you guys like think about it okay you're literally a superhero you don't need weapons right now you have strength and stuff like that as long as you go to your uh, stats and you're, you're just upgrading your strength your defense your quirk and stuff like that you're fine so personally i have zero in agility really i have this because i've never found agility to be that helpful like look agility is okay like i don't really need it that much anymore because you know i have plus ultra which makes you goes insanely fast but when you start out if you want to get some agility there's nothing wrong with that just personally i don't like to do that uh but that's just my opinion and again i'm not a pro do what you want in this game so that's the basics so far just run your content i think it's pretty straightforward just some people ask this question and that's really the fastest way to get through it and again if you're willing to do it if you want to really just increase that speed spend like five bucks on robux just, you know do some chores around the house something like that i don't know like i don't know water your your neighbor's plants just do something and then you'll have like 500 robux you'll get 15 minutes and every time you log on do some 15 minute sessions you know and you just get some double xp i think it's worth it uh there are some codes you can use now i'm not going to say them on screen because it maybe by the time you're watching this video it's a different time and it's going to be expired what i do recommend if you're going to find a code just don't look up a youtube video it's useless they're just going to take a 10 minutes to explain what the code is go just look it up there's a website it'll just tell you there's a bunch of websites and it'll tell you what's working what's expired pretty straightforward so yeah that's pretty much the premise of what i'm saying use codes when you start out get some wxp i think you get like an hour multiplier as the time i'm um, posting this video again just look up the code run your mission the quirk honestly if you just have just use your quirk you know you don't need to get weapons once you get at least two or three attacks and you have a decent quirk that can do something that you know that you don't have to use your punch anymore like i barely ever punch because i got so many quirks and i have plus ultra yeah and i have one for all but like it doesn't really matter the quirk you have like if i have like let's say you have like black hole or engine something like that you get to the point where you have enough powers that you can take them out you can take them out pretty much without even using your punching or even a weapon at least this is how i've done it so far again there's probably better methods but this is just what i think i mean i think my method is pretty good i got to 350 in a day and you're probably gonna say well yeah i bought some game passes i bought these when i beat the game already. like i bought these at like level like 300 probably i think it's like around there I, you, I wouldn't recommend buying the game passes when you start out, just so you don't ruin the fun. But if you're getting near end game stuff, I, you can buy game passes. It's, it's, it's really up to you. Whatever makes it more fun for you. But yeah, that's really what I gotta say for now. Alright guys, that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys don't forget to like and subscribe. But yeah, thank you guys for coming out here and watching this video. It's a choice to watch this, and you know, you clicked on this. You probably like that thumbnail, so thank you for coming out here. If you guys have anything against this video, or you just liked it, make sure you guys drop a comment. I'll answer all of them. That's really all I have to say for you guys today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. My name is Clickbait. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.